Today we are at Anya Hanabi. This outlet is located at Uptown Damansara. By the way, right, for me, because I'm first time coming here, and then like when I walk outside, right, I saw they have those like TV show for this restaurant itself. And then right, actually their specialty, right, I saw is that they actually have Taiwanese nuro, means meat on the noodle, ramen noodle. Which is something I've never seen before and it's quite unique for me. And here is like an open kitchen so like you can see how they cook and how they prepare the food. Yeah. So we can't wait. So the first dish is karaku, kar kakoro ko. Have a drizzle of sauces and mayonnaise. Wow. Mm. It's very soft. And the potato is very nice. It tastes like potato salad. But I have the crunch outside, so it's really nice. I really like the marination. Yeah. Especially right, the batter, right? It's not like raw kind of batter, you know. It's like those are more like a break crumbs kind of like um, crispy batter. It's not like those it's one piece. It's thin slice of batter. Mm. Yes. I eat with the cabbage. Wow. Nice. Super good. Let's move on to our next main dish. Nyoja ramen. Most of the dishes start with Nagoya. And it has a piece of translucent three layer pork that the fat ratio and the meat ratio is just perfect. Wow. Right. So now, actually, they recommend us, right, to put this. This is actually the Vin homemade vinegar. Vinegar. Kelp vinegar. Yeah. So, actually, I'm going to try the original taste first, then we try it with the kelp vinegar. The very porky broth. And has the fish flakes inside. Mm, yes, they did. It's not very good, guys. Let's try it with the soup. It is a springy and bouncy noodle. Yeah. The texture is just perfect. It's not overly cooked. It's just like very springy and tender. Yeah. And let's try the pork. People who love like Japanese ramen like me, I love Japanese ramen. This is my first try and I love it already. Still for the pork belly, I really couldn't taste any major wow impact on me personally. I think it's like quite your uh, typical ramen store char still like it doesn't really impress me that much to be honest. I like the char mm. Mentai Nyoja DX. This is the upgrade version. This particular restaurant is famous for their Nyoja Mentai Nagoya Mentai yeah. oh. particular shop is special for their Menzu Soba noodle. So this one is the upgrade version of it. So we have pork slices, mm. eggs, I think salted egg and a... No salted egg lah, Japanese poached egg. Oh, Japanese poached yeah, egg. No salted egg bro. And this is a spicy minced meat. Minced meat. And we have some garnishes here. So having to try, let's mix it up first. So this one is a noodle. See the major difference here? My one is normal ramen, but this one is like Thailand meat. Is it? It's like a udon. Yeah, like udon, yes. Wow, this is so good. The menu says it's very spicy, but it's not that spicy at all. So actually, Japanese right? So for the spicy level, actually is um. It is umami and very it's quite creamy for the tasting. Time to add some chilies. I like when I added chili, big. It takes up the whole dish. So small. Slice. It's just perfect and beautiful. I can taste the smokiness of the pork. Yeah, because right, actually the surface on the pork is and cut on it. By the way, right, this noodle actually right, it was very well from each other right, actually. I like the taste and Cindy mentioned earlier the umami taste right. To me, I think of it like a sin ramen. Sin ramen. No, because like it has that shrimp taste right. It tastes something similar but not similar but something a little bit of semblance I would say. I definitely will come back here for good food. Wow. This one is you add rice into your leftover noodles and you mix it in very nicely and this is how they ask you to do it. So add some kelp the oil. That's mm. right. Savory. It's like sushi but it's in a better yeah. You like it? So for me definitely definitely the vinegar right it makes a difference uh, to the soup and the rice as well together. Definitely make a changes. I love it. Like, I love every single dish about here. It's not about like the atmosphere or what, but the food is just really good. 
I have no comments about it. So far, everything has like impressed me, like I would say, yeah, because like. It's not some regular ramen that we try normally in shopping center or the roadside lah, but this is definitely stands out from the normies. The normal they ones. have uh, different branches in Malaysia, but it, it was originated from Japan. Yeah. So come down here and try for yourself. It's really good food, yeah. and the price I can say is like middle range. Approximately it's around twenty to thirty ringgit around there. Yeah, so come down and try by yourself. We will really, really highly recommend this place. Yeah. We're only the first timer and we are crazy about it already. So see you guys in the next episode of Fooding. Remember to subscribe, like and share to all your friends and keep, help us to hit 1,000 subscribers. And bye bye, yeah. see you guys bye -bye. in the next episode of Fooding. Bye. I'm Cindy and he's... Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> we'll sign off. Bye.